this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a really fun project with you. I'm super excited about this project. This is a project that I will be teaching um, online. So it's going to be fun. And the cool thing about it is that uh, there's a lot of different scrapbook stores that are participating. There's a list and I'll have it in the description box um, below where you can contact your local scrapbook store if they're on that list and contact them to get one of the kits and access to the um, the group where we'll do the uh, live class. So we're going to be using the Echo Park I Love Spring. It's going to be the 12 by 12 collection kit which comes with the papers as well as the sticker sheet. We're also going to use the chipboard pieces and we're also going to be using the um, solids that coordinate with this particular collection. So in your kit, you're going to get um, everything you need to make this project. So here we go. This is it. It is a gatefold folio and it's going to measure seven and a half by ten. So on the front cover, what I've done is this is a sticker from the sticker sheet. And this is probably my favorite little element are these little chipboard bees. <laughs> so there's a little chipboard bee here and then we got some little bee stickers here. I layered up some more of the chipboard flowers here. This is one of the 4x4 cut aparts that I matted on one of the solids. And then I also double matted it here. I added the chipboard element that coordinated with this cut apart and just lay it right on top. I got a cute little chipboard bird here and this fun little umbrella and several little bee stickers, stickers here. And then a little banner that says springtime moments. Um, and this is Hell Spring. The spines are one inch. And then here is the back with the pretty flowers. Okay. So there's a magnet closure and you're going to open it up and it's going to look like this. So we'll start over here. Both of the side panels are going to be a mirror image. Over here, this is the back side of the closure. I just added a couple more of those little banners that were from left over from the sticker here. Um, we've got some chipboard here, another butterfly sticker. There's a little pocket here. This is one of the three by four cut aparts. And then I made a large tag. Again, with a sticker here, some design paper, and then it's plain on the back, so you can either journal or put a couple of photos here. And then this is a three by four waterfall. So there's a journal card right here, and then these are all the solids that are in, that are coordinating with this collection that I used here. So the back of the waterfall pages are blank, so you can add your photos. You could also put photos here if you want. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one more here. And then this whole panel flips open like so. So you can also put a photo back here. Now there's no magnets here because of the pocket. The tags are going to keep this flap down. So we've got a cute little umbrella sticker here, some more of this pretty patterned paper. You could even put a picture here if you wanted. And then that just closes and then you take the large tag and slide it into the pocket to hold the flap down. And then I got this extra little piece here. So the other side is going to be similar. Another chipboard element that says springtime. Another 3x4 card with those cute butterflies. Another tag. And then again, the same waterfall. Same color scheme. Um, floral print here. And then we've got the solids. Same number of pages. And then solid here. And then this flips open. And again, we have another cute sticker here, and you could put a photo here if you wanted. Some more of that pretty design paper with those cute little bees. Oh my goodness, I love it. So adorable. So again, it folds back. You stick your tag in there to keep it closed, and then there's the journal card right there. So on the center section, I created a large pocket, and then I used some of the stickers to create a little scene with some of the flower pots. Cute little chipboard sticker that says, Beautiful Spring Day. And we've got lots of cut aparts in here. Um, these are the four by four cards and I just matted it on a piece of the craft. And then I took the solids and made a little flip book here with another four by four card. So they're, these are particularly, this one's yellow on one side, you flip it over and you got pink. So you could put two four by four photos here and then I did put some more design paper here on the back. And this is one of the four by six cards, which I thought was really cute, with a giant tag here. So you could put a full four by six on the back here with no cropping. And then we got another one here. The cut-aparts and the colors are so stinking cute in this. 
So then over here um, is a four by six waterfall. Again, there's my favorite, that cute bee paper, <laughs> four by six landscape uh, page right here. And again, full photo, four by sixes will fit on her with no cropping. So these are six and a quarter by four and a quarter. Cute little sticker that says such a beautiful spring day. And then again, they're playing on the back. This is a border sticker here. So you could add a small photo here <clears throat> or you could just journal, it'd be kind of fun. And then we've got a sticker here. And then another sticker here and some more design paper. Cute little umbrella. And then another four by six card. So then these all go in here to hold this center waterfall panel down. And then it just closes like this. So then, um, so you're gonna get the, we're gonna do a class on how to create this cute little folio here. And then um, when I was done, I had three sheets of the solids left and you're gonna have lots of leftover papers and stickers and chipboards. So I thought, well, here's a little bonus project if you want an idea of what to do with your leftovers. And I will show you how to create this in the tutorial. So uh, the first one, I did one with a ribbon that I had in my stash and then one without. So they're just little booklets here and it just uses one sheet of the 12 by 12 coordinating colored cardstock that you're gonna get in your kit. I had one left of blue and one left of yellow and I can't remember the other color but I'm going to use it for the tutorial. So I added some chipboard elements here, those cute little bees. So then it opens like this, this, and like this. And then there are openings at the top. I didn't make any but you can make little inserts to put in the top of these little pockets right here if you wanted. So there's that first one and then here's one with Again, I just used what was left over, but it's the same one. I didn't put a little um, closure on here. Some more chipboard here, another sticker, made a little banner, some design paper, that cute little chipboard bee. And again, I had the little chipboard frame here, another three by four card. So the three by four cards will fit in here with just a little bit of trimming off the bottom or the top. So again, I just used the stickers to decorate some of this. Cute butterflies, border stickers. And then there's the back of that one. So you are gonna get, um, I'm just gonna real quick and when we do the class, I'll show you how to make this little cute little pocket, little, I don't know, little pocket thing. <laughs> so there you go everybody, that's gonna be the project and um, contact the store and the list is below for all the information as far as the date, the time, the, the cost of the kit, um, but it's gonna be so much fun and I really, 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 really hope everybody um, picks up a kit. The kits will be limited, but there are 17, I think, stores participating in this massive class. So it's going to be so much fun and it's going to be an online class. So there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching and make sure you get your kit today. Bye.